Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how you can combine fluid simulations with geometry nodes. If you are interested then stick around until the end of the video, so let's get started. Hit Shift A and add a plane, go to geometry nodes, click on new, delete the group input and add a volume cube, put it here and Alt Shift click on it, add a volume to mesh node, this one, put it here. Here set the resolution to 128, set the adaptivity here to 1, add a subdivision surface node, put it here, now add a set shade smooth node, and add a set material node. Now add a mix RGB, plug the color into the density, add a musgrave texture, Put it here and plug the height into color 2. Add a gradient texture. Plug the color into the factor and color 1. Set it from linear to spherical. Go to the material properties and click on new. Now go here and select the material. Let's go back to layout mode. Press delete on the numpad and 1. Hit shift A and add a camera. Ctrl Alt 0 to go into camera view and press G and set twice to move it on the local z axis. Hit Shift A and add a cube and scale it up like this. And now scale it on the z. Go into wireframe and duplicate the cube and move it down. Let's go back to viewport shading and with the duplicated cube selected go to the physics properties and go to fluid. Set the type to flow the flow type to liquid and the flow behavior to odd flow. Now select this cube, again click on fluid and select the main. Set it to liquid. I recommend that you set the resolution divisions anywhere between 128 and 256. I'm going to set it to 256. Go down here and enable diffusion. And let's also enable mesh. Set the type to all and check is resumable. Let's select the cube and hide it. Hit Shift A and add an icosphere and move it up. Now scale it down like this. Again select fluid and select flow. Set the flow type to liquid and the flow behavior to inflow. Select the plane, go to fluid and select effector. Make sure to hide cube 001 in the render. If you can't see this option here, then go up here and enable it. Now let's save and press Alt H. Select this cube and go down here. Now click on Bake All. Now that it's done baking, select the plane and go to shading. Add a color ramp and put that here. Connect the color to the base color. Bring the white into somewhere around here and make it orange like this. Let's go to rendered view. For the lighting I'm using a sky texture. Set the sun elevation to 5 and the sun rotation to 45. Add a mix RGB node. Put it here. And let's plug the color into the factor. And plug it into the roughness and into the normal. Add a bump node. Put it here and let's use the height, add a musgrave texture, plug the height into the factor here and into color 1. Now set the scale to 150, add a noise texture, put that here and plug the factor into color 2, set the scale to 1000, select the fluid and delete the principal BSDF, add a glass BSDF. Control shift click on it and let's make this a light blue like this. Go back to layout mode and go into camera view. Go to viewport shading. Now go here and enable depth of field. Hit shift A and add an empty plane axis. Go to snapping and select face project. Now if we press G and control, the empty is going to snap to the faces here. Set it back to increment. Now select the camera, go to the object data properties, enable depth of field, and select the empty. 
I'm going to set the f-step to 0.6 and the blades to 16. Go to compositing, enable use nodes, add a denoise node set to accurate and enable denoising data to get these outputs here. In the render properties, set the max samples to 256. Go to color management, set it to filmic here and set the look to a very high contrast. Go to the output properties and select a resolution that you want. For the file format, I'm going to use JPEG and set it to 100%. Click here and create a new folder for the rendered images. I already created one. If you put an underscore after the name, Blender is going to automatically assign numbers to the frames. Now click and accept. Let's save again and press Ctrl F12 to render the simulation. Once it's done rendering, close this window and go to video editing. Make sure you're on frame 1. Hover over the file location and press Ctrl C. Here hit Shift A. Image sequence. Now let's double click on the folder and press A and enter. Now set the file format to FFmpeg video, the encoding to MPEG4, and the output quality to high quality. Go to the render properties, and now set the view transform to standard and the look to none. If you don't do this, then it will add even more contrast, which is not what I want. Let's save again and press Ctrl F12 to render the simulation. If you liked this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.